Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling Toss salads and scrambled eggs I humbly place before you my East Meets West patented Traeger turkey burger an Asian fusion burger made with Willow Farms organic turkey a toasted Telegio cheese crisp papaya chutney, black truffle aioli and microgreens on a gluten-free brioche bun. Enjoy! Mmm! Mm. This tastes as delicious as Beyonce smells. Mmm! I'm guessing. What is this in here? Saffron? Wow! Somebody's got a sharp palate! I love the umami flavor. Stop being so pretentious, Kyle. Hey Reddit Food, this is Oliver Babish. I am a filmmaker, wannabe chef, and like you, I've always wondered, what does the food in film and television actually taste like? I'm here to answer some of those questions today. Today we're making Chris Traeger's East Meets West patented Traeger turkey burger. To start off, we're going to need a small eggplant that we're going to cut the top off and half lengthwise. Then we're going to hit it with some olive oil, a little bit of kosher salt, freshly ground pepper. Then we're going to score it and bake it 400 for about 30 to 40 minutes until the flesh is nice and soft. Next up we're going to make our papaya chutney, which surprisingly contains papaya. So we're going to take a large papaya and peel it, slice it halfway down the center, scrape out all those nasty seeds, and then cut it into one inch chunks, which we're going to add to a small saucepan along with a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar, a third of a cup of golden raisins, a little bit of kosher salt, freshly ground pepper, and I didn't show it here, but you want to add some saffron threads. Next up, we're gonna make our aioli. We're gonna start with four egg yolks, a squeeze, uh, maybe two squeezes of lemon. We're going to take a quarter cup of black truffle oil and add it to a cup of canola oil, which we're going to drizzle slowly into our immersion blender cup until we have a nice, thick aioli. Next up, the Telegio Cheese Crisp. Now, Telegio doesn't crisp up very well, so in its place, we're going to be using some Fontina, three ounces of Fontina, and three ounces of Parmesan cheese, which we're going to grate on a microplane, and then place on a super non-stick surface, like a Silpat. We're going to make two little mounds, two little three ounce mounds. We're going to put it in the oven at 400 for about eight minutes until we have these lovely little golden brown circles of perfection. These things are amazing. They're going on every single burger that I make from this day forth. Speaking of which, turkey burgers usually suck, so we're gonna butcher our own. Normally I would use turkey thigh, but Chris is a pretty healthy guy, so we're gonna use turkey breast. We're going to cut up a three pound breast into one inch pieces, put on a parchment lined baking sheet, and place in the freezer for about 15 minutes until the meat is nice and firm. Then we're going to take a cold food processor blade, we're going to add our roasted eggplant and pulse until we get about halfway to the consistency that we want. At which point we are going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce, a quarter teaspoon of Marmite, and a little squeeze of anchovy paste. This isn't going to make it fishy or anything, it's just going to add a nice meaty flavor. Now we're going to pulse until we get perfect ground turkey. Place in a bowl and set aside so we can make Ron's Burger. Two ingredients. So we're going to make about third pound patties, which we're going to shape into little pucks, and then we're going to place a divot in the center, so this way the burger doesn't turn into a softball when you cook it. We're going to do the exact same thing with the turkey burger. Season with a little bit of kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper. Now, I live in the city, so I don't have a grill, so I'm going to heat two tablespoons of safflower oil in a ripping hot pan, and we're going to sear these up. All right, now that they're searing, we're going to dress our buns. We're going to put about a tablespoon of papaya chutney on the bottom half of our gluten-free brioche bun. Then we're going to take a little bit of our truffle aioli and place it on the top half of the bun. Then I'm going to snip some microgreens. I'm using daikon radish sprouts. On top of which, I'm going to place our perfect little seared turkey patty. Do not forget your cheese crisp. It is the best part of this burger. And there you have it, the Drago Turkey Burger. Ron's burger, on the other hand, meat, bun, done. Here's mine. It's a hamburger made out of meat on a bun with nothing. Add ketchup if you want. I couldn't care less. So there you have it, Ron and Chris's Burgers. Now I can tell you that Chris's Burger defied all my expectations. It was absolutely fabulous. I thought that none of these flavors were going to work, but everything worked amazingly. The burger was nice and juicy. It was the best turkey burger I've ever had by a long shot. It did taste the way Beyonce smells. At 20 ingredients and three hours later, I do not know how Ron's Burger could possibly stand up to... Oh, it's way better. I mean, it's not even a competition. It's just better.